Hey YouTube, this is the Dutch Sandwich. I'm going to be reviewing my James Bond Tom Ford sunglasses. These are the sunglasses worn by Daniel Craig in the 2012 movie Skyfall. And these are still available uh, to buy brand new from a store. They're $220. And then if you go on eBay, you can probably find them cheaper uh, and used even cheaper than that. I think I paid around $160 on eBay used. And uh, they have a 58 millimeter wide uh, temple, just like the Ray-Ban 30 uh, 25 sunglasses, the uh, kind of the standard size aviators. You can get smaller aviators that are 55, <clears throat> but most people end up with the 58s. They have a uh, rhodium plating on them, on the frames. They're silver. This is the only color, color combination that he has that has the silver and the blue lenses. And uh, it's a really nice combination. You can see like on the side here, they've got a little raised T logo, whereas on the plastic Tom Ford sunglasses, you'll see the black uh, or tortoise plastic arms have a gold or silver T, which is a little bit less subtle and a little bit more kind of in your face. So I really do like the just the subtle raised T. And it's got uh, Tom Ford here on the earpieces on both sides and silver. They are non-polarized lenses. Uh, they're just a composite lens. Uh, Tom Ford's sunglasses, at least, are owned by the Luxottica Group, which really are a big player in the over $50 sunglass market. They make a lot of the brands that, that you're, you and I are familiar with. So you can expect the quality to be really up there. Obviously, these are expensive. At $220, you may expect to get polarized lenses or, or even glass polarized lenses, but these do not. But they're incredibly well made, and if you've never had blue lens sunglasses. I couldn't recommend them higher. It, it, it's a really neat kind of tint to have on uh, on your sunglasses, especially on bright, uh, bright sunny days. You can see there's some cool design cues that kind of make this stand out from typical aviator style sunglasses. The, the hinges here, and then you've got over the, the nose bridge, you've got kind of a raised little part right here. And then the nose bridge is kind of a separate little piece that's attached. So neat little subtle details that kind of make these stand out but obviously I think that the blue lenses are kind of the signature part to these sunglasses and what makes them kind of the quintessential or the kind of why they're the the sunglasses that James Bond wore that, that kind of makes them stand out the most so anyways these are you know the Skyfall glasses he has a similar uh, lens color in the Quantum of Solace but the glasses are different. They are the TF um, uh, 108s, whereas these are the 144s. Um, I have a pair here that I'm going to show. These are actually Oliver Peoples, which Oliver Peoples is owned by Luxottica as well. And it, it's a very similar style to the uh, Quantum of Solace glasses, so I figured I'd show them. And uh, this isn't the exact colorway that James Bond wore in the Quantum of Solace. This is a gold frame with a bronze gradient lens. And in the movie, he wears this colorway as well. He has the silver frames with, uh, with, the, with the blue lenses, the composite blue lenses. So you can see the little Oliver Peoples logo up there on the, the eye bridge. But I really like these. They fit a little bit smaller. Uh, but again, super, super characteristic of this model with just the one piece going across the bridge. I really like these. They fit kind of more compact, um, kind of same style hinge as this one, kind of the signature little hinge. And uh, these are uh, made in Japan and they're made out of titanium. I'm not sure if the other colorway is the same. Uh, if you go over to the Tom Ford range versus the Oliver Peoples range, I'm not sure what the, the material is, but uh, it probably would be similar to this this pair right here, the 144s. But again, really like these. The gradient lens is cool on uh, kind of overcast days. Not quite as much sun blockage as with the uh, the dark blue lens, but really nice sunglasses too. If you, uh, I, I don't remember the, the model number of the, these Oliver Peoples glasses. It doesn't say on the inside anymore, but uh, you can find the, the actual Tom Ford glasses still on eBay. If you type in F, uh, the 108, Tom Ford 108 sunglasses, but the, since they're no longer in production, they've become extremely, extremely expensive. So if you find the uh, the Tom Ford Quantum of Solace glasses, you're probably going to pay upwards of $600. 
they used to be 220, kind of like these 144s here on the left, but since they don't make them anymore and they've kind of become a collector's piece, uh, they don't, I don't think that they made enough of them. They've just gone crazy. I've actually seen a pair go for uh, nine, over $900 on eBay if you get the, the silver frames with the blue, the blue lenses. So keep that in mind if you can't find a pair or they're just too expensive for you. Maybe look for these Oliver Peoples ones. They're the same, same design and, uh, and like I said, I'm not sure if it's the same metal, but a great little bit more affordable option. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, just put them below. See you next time.